Hello and welcome back to Evoland. Let's continue with earning our credits. You're a student. You'll, s you'll see. Optics are as simple as A, B, C. I'll award you credit if you manage to solve a very basic problem. I mean, a three-year-old could do this. You'll see. It's uh, terribly easy. Number nine. Optical, optical options. <laughs> Wait, there were supposed to be eight. Never mind. A beam leaves source A and must end up in the main conduit B. Move the mirrors to direct the beam to point B while activating all six crystals. Okay. Mm, not quite right. So that's not the way. This will make it the same, give me the same outcome. If only I had a different one. Um, figured it out. Well, you've earned credits for the optics class. Hello, my friends. Uh, it's with a pleasure that I explain your classics paintings. You want learning? Thank you, my friends. Uh, painting a classic. Uh, to complete the painting, move the colors so that no color appears twice on the same line or column. The colors marked with a dot cannot be moved. Okay. Ah, I see. How can I say it was easy? Bravissimo! You are deserving the credits of painting a classica. Hello there, I am the new cryptographer for the Council of Traders. They requested that I devise a new encryption system to secure trade. I finally developed a system that's uncrackable. Would you like to put it to the test? Yeah. Terrific. If you manage to bypass my system, I will award you credit for cryptography. Cipher. Out of the four symbols, which one completes the series of symbols below? Like, it added circle in the middle. Then it added dot the right top. This one I think I will just... Uh, yeah, I will... Force it. That's what I get for saying that the previous one was easy. What? You found it? Now I have to start again from square one. Leave me. Oh yes, you have your credits. 
if someone understands it, please explain. <laughs> the library holds so many books, it all must be sorted meticulously. I am in charge of the archives, but because such a collection can be perfectly sorted, I bear the title of an archivist. It's a little joke dating back to the Imperial era. At any rate, I have a tidying related conundrum that has me at my wit's end. I haven't slept for three nights now. Would you like to give it a try? Yeah. Alright, let's do it. The Obsessive Sword. One of the books in the library isn't in its place. Can you spot which one? This is okay, like, they all have one uh, dash at the top, three dashes at the bottom. Here, two at the top, two at the bottom. Also seems correct. Three at the top, one on the bottom. This one isn't correct. Indeed, the label on this book is framed by two horizontal stripes at the top and bottom. It should be on the second shelf. The thing I hadn't noticed it. Thanks for your help. You've earned your credit in archival studies. Oh, dear me, we have this book in triplicate. Here, take it. We are short on space anyway. What book? 50 Ghost Stories. Ooh, can we read it? I like ghost stories. <laughs> So, are your studies progressing well? Well... <gasps> Congratulations! You finished all your courses! This calls for an extra reward! Here you go! I hope for something useful. <laughs> Alright, now on to my teaching. What would you like to know? The Maggie? Are a, the, Maidra, the Magi are a people or a civilization that peaked more than 2500 years ago, while the world was largely underwater. According to the legend, they possessed magical powers beyond anything else in history. Some even say they could manipulate time itself. But these are most likely the exaggerated explanations of contemporaneous peoples to account for strange phenomena after the fact. Nevertheless, uh, after dominating the era in which they lived, they completely vanished 2800 years ago. All they left behind were a few ruins and many unsolved mysteries. What would you like to know? Mm, megaliths? What are commonly called megaliths are in fact the most famous relics of the magic civilization. While somewhat rare, they are evenly spread throughout the various continents. It is not precisely known what purpose they served. The ciphered writings refer to a road or path, but where does it lead? Incidentally, it was while searching for a magalith that my former professor, also a great expert on the magi, met her end. Wait a second, sad story, really. What would you like to know? Uh, the disappearance of the magi? Surely is the greatest riddle ever put forth. Why would a civilization as powerful as the Magi vanish from the face of the earth 2000 years ago? And without a trace or pra practically none? Even after years of research, I must admit I have a foggiest idea. What would you like to know? Mm, your professor? My old professor was a leading Magi, Magi expert. Her entire life was devoted to figuring out why they had disappeared. I recall she was particularly interested in the megaliths. She thought the stones contained a power that, once triggered, would enable her to learn more about the Magi. She would discover them a megalith that she believed she could activate with the Stone of Time. Sadly, she was captured by the pirates that lived on the island at the time. No one ever found a trace of her that was on Magi Isle, the one people now call the Cursed Isle. Okay, uh, the Stone of Time? The Stone of Time is quite the legend in itself. It has com some connection with the Megaliths, but I do not do know more than that. The item predates the Magi by many years, so long ago in fact that no one remembers when or why it was created. I'm not even sure if the stone really exists. The only direct reference I was able to identify is in the archives of the Demonian royal family, which I was lucky enough to visit. The Stone of Time is evidently, evidently a large round stone, black, 
with an eye and grave in its center. Interestingly, the eye resembles that used by the prophet. A bizarre coincidence, if you ask me, but I am hardly concerned with the outside world. Okay, the Madre Isles is located far to the east and can only be reached by boat from Sierra Harbor. Its name comes from the Madre ruins found there. Pirates made it their home, only to be mysteriously driven out later. Whatever the case may be, fishermen still refuse to set foot there. They believe the island is cursed, and so has its name become Cursed Isle. Quite the ghost story, as if they even existed. To get to Madre Isle, you'll need a boat. Keep it in mind that only a member of the Council of Traders can provide you with a pass of safe conduct. <laughs> that was odd. So let's go to the trade that we know that lives around here. Hey, I need a boat. Well, hello there. What can I do for you? A boat. So you're looking to get to the Cursed Isle. It's a weird place. I wouldn't go near it if I were you. But hey, it's your call. A first major letter signed by me is all you need to set sail. Naturally, it will cost you. Would you have something interesting to trade? I have this. Oh, why, that's one of my grandfather's badges. I thought they would all have been lost in the great disaster. Their value is strictly sentimental. Please give it to me in exchange for a pass of safe conduct. Okay. Thank you. As promised, here you go. Thank you. That was eventful. Or should I say lower full? Alice? To be a sailor's wife, you have to learn patience and then avoid worrying too much. Especially with all those tales people tell about the Crest Isle. No, seriously, she is. For me, it's American Magus Alice. She looks just like her. Minus the knife. Sailors are real superstitious. Just listen to them talk about the Cursed Isle. They think the ghost of the dreaded pirate Hoberts lives there. Nobody knows if he even existed, so... His ghost? You want something? That latest storm caused no flooding. It gets worse every year. If it keeps up like this, the harbor will be swallowed by the sea. There will be no leaving the harbor for now. I've got a bad feeling and I'm almost always right. It must be the ghost of that infamous pirate Roberts. That island off the coast is cursed, I tell you. If you want to sail, go and get a force majeure letter from someone in the Council of Traders. Till then, I won't budge. You'll be able to score one in Genova if you look around. But it will cost you a pretty penny. Traders are known to give stuff away. And we have it. Well, F it. Don't say I didn't warn you. I've got a bad feeling about this trip. Well. What? You wanna go to the Cursed Isle? Isn't it just my lucky day? Fair warning, there's no way we're ducking there. You can get off in our robot and board again after. And I won't wait for you more than an hour. If you don't come back alive, that's your problem. Have I made myself clear? It, no, give me a... Uh, do you wanna leave now? No. Take your time. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The book. I forgot to give this book to the girls. That's why we went to the library. Partially, that's why we went to the library. But we need to keep our end of the deal. Okay, and they, luckily they are still there. Wait, it has second floor now? Oh, okay. 
you're here. Mommy, that man looks poor. Don't touch me, mister. You're gonna give me something. As a book. Let's see here. You'd give this to some innocent girls? Then again, it will come in handy when we're older. You basically kept up your promise. So here, this is for you. Let's say it was worth it. It is time to set sail onto the cursed isle. Apparently. Well, uh, yep, 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 yes, I want to go to the cursed isle. Uh, yes, you made yourself clear. Okay, so do you want to leave now? Yes. All right then, let's go. Hey, we're sailing. What kind of cursed island is this? It doesn't even have any uh, any skulls on it. So this is the cursed isle. It looks rather nice. I should have brought my bathing suit. I know, right? This must be the magic ruins that Dean spoke of at the library. But where has the megalith gone? I hope it isn't buried under all this sand. So let's say, do you know how to dig it out? I have an inkling. to do what to do with those runes first. Maybe with her. Can you push it? Uh -oh. I cannot step on this. Wait, we don't have Doesn't that I simply remind you of something? The thing told us about something called the Stone of Time. Now where could it be? So we need the Stone of Time first? Yes, I think so.
Okay, let's look for the Magus first, I guess. I thought I saw a chesty over there. Well, the only place that we can check out is this. The Great Destroyer shall punish you all! <laughs> what did I do to deserve such imbeciles? <laughs> well, will no one open this for me? We sent for someone, Venerable Prophet. <laughs> How dare you make me languish here! Ah, finally! One of these days I'll have to change that mechanism, but it's the surest way to protect my precious, my very precious stone of time. Don't even try to scale the pyramid. It's so slippery, even the famed ninja squirrels never made it to the top. To get inside, you need to reach it by air. But without wings, it cannot be done. When humans fly, as they say. Can you blow it up? Entrance to the Great Pyramid is just is restricted. Only the Prophet and the Eldest Disciples may go in. And there's no point searching for the key, the door only opens from the inside. Which can be problematic at times, actually. Just the other day, the Prophet was locked out because of a sudden draft. It took a whole week to force the door open, and then it had to be replaced. The Prophet proclaimed draft to be a sign of the world's annihilation. I came here to become a disciple, but novice training is real difficult. You have to master quite a few skills. I'm not sure I'll make it. The number five has always intrigued me. I mean, really, it's a special number, don't you think? It pops up everywhere. The story of the five little pigs, the tale of the five musketeers, and of course, the five keys to be collected by the great destroyer before annihilating the world. As strange as strange can be, high five. I've always dreamed of touching the stone of time, but only the prophet has this honor. Our greatest treasure kept safely out of the pyramid. Do you think that by touching, one can communicate with the great destroyer? Do you want to take the novice test? Yeah. Fine. Listen carefully to my question and choose the correct answer. The great disaster was the first omen of the world's annihilation. What will the second be? What? Yes, exactly. That's why we build the pyramid. That way we'll be able to, to survive when water covers the world. Your novice training isn't over yet. Speak to the other professors to continue the test. Do you want... yep. Fine. Listen carefully to my question. Before destroying the world, the Grey Destroyer must first do something. What is it? Collect the five keys. Yes, that's it. There's surely a hidden meaning to the keys, but the Prophet is un unequ unequivocal when it comes to the number five. The great eye symbolizes the great destroyer. It is etched into our most precious treasure. What is this treasure? The stone of time. Well done! Indeed, the stone of time is kept at the very top of the pyramid. The prophet discovered it near the smug shortly after the great disaster. Congratulations! You passed the novice test. 
but that's only the first step. To become a disciple, you need to go to the Windy Valley and then climb Mount Alpha. Atop Mount Alpha, you will have to spend an entire day meditating for a symbol, the Great Eye. Only then will you be ready to become a disciple. So now off to the Windy Valley. Okay, so I'll meet you there, but for now I'll end this part here. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon.